Hi guys! Um, story time. It's gonna be a little bit serious this Sunday kasi um, medyo naging emotional ang pagising ko. First, because I saw a post of a girl named Julia Austin. Okay, if you don't know who she is, um, I want you to understand that when I found out what happened to her, because apparently she, she made a video that she regrets and it leaked on the internet and syempre nasira siya and she was viral for the wrong reasons. And when she posted supposedly the reason kung bakit niya nagawa, talagang naantig ako. Because um, kahit hindi man obvious sa akin or kahit pinapa- napapangitan kayo sa akin, did you know na sa sobrang hirap ng buhay ko last year, nung kasagsagan talaga ng pandemic, talagang naghirap talaga ako na to the point na 200 pesos nang ang kita ko araw-araw. Ano ang makakain namin sa 200 pesos na kita? Kasi wala naman nagpapaganda, wala namang bumibili ng beauty products ko. So talagang kaya nag-start ako ng barbecue business last year. So sa sobrang hirap, I considered even getting into that online, um, yung, yung naguhubad-hubad online. Yeah. I considered that, but naisip ko kasi at that time na, yun, pag nag nga yung videos, pag may nakakita sa akin, kasi syempre marami namang manyak dito sa amin sa, sa syudad namin, di ba? Marami namang manyak, maraming nag-online ng ganyan, 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 di ba? E paano pag nag Tas nung time na yun, I wanted to run for city councilor of Butuan City, so syempre talagang gagamitin yan against me. Pero more than that, nung nabasa ko yung post ni Julia, Nakarelate ako kasi talagang ganyan pag pag talagang taghirap. 'Di ba? Ako, I have a son. I had three people na depended on me plus their families. I'm the sole breadwinner. 'Di ba? So sa so sobrang kakulangan noon na to the point, ayun eh, nga when I started becoming viral, gutom na gutom pa ako nung time na 'yon kasi I was only eating once every Swerte na yung maka two meals a day ako. ba? So, nung time na yon, sabi ko, I, I, had a, I had a pretty strong internet connection. May mga friends ako that does that, yung online hubad-hubad thing. And na-consider ko siya. As in, I, I thought about it. I thought about it for like two weeks. And you know what happened? The day that I was supposed to take it seriously, napupunta na ako sa bahay ng friend ko who does that, that was the same day ginawa ko yung nasa ng Pangulo na video. And guess what happened then? Para sa akin, I stand with Julia Ostan. We shouldn't be judging you, Julia. We should be understanding that the struggle of women is real. E paano pa kaya ako na I'm a single mom? E paano pa kaya ako that I have to provide for my son because he is my decision? Kasi hindi naman ako single mother by force. Single mother by choice ako. Pinili ko to. Pinili ko ang hirap na to. So don't judge people just because there's a leaked video on the internet. I know of two people in my life personally na have become victim of this. They became viral because they made the wrong choice. Who are we to judge them? They may have made mistakes. But you weren't born God. You don't have the right to judge people for their struggles. So, I wanted to share that with everybody. Thank you so much for saving me from that life. Hindi naman din siguro, hindi naman din ako nahihiya sa katawan ko. Siyempre, binutiderm ko to, di ba? Mula ulo hanggang paa. Everything na dapat makinis at maputi. Siyempre naman, naging negosyo ko, di ba? My body is my billboard. But, yun nga. Thank you for saving me. And to Julia Austin, I stand with you. Laban ka lang dyan, Besh. Ingat! Mwah!